So just how likely is it that American troops will be forced to leave Okinawa? For more, we turn to Western Konishi, an adjunct fellow with the Maureen and Mike Mansfield Foundation in Washington, D.C. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Why does the United States feel that it needs to keep such a large military presence going in Japan? Well, the U.S. military presence in Japan really serves two main purposes. The first is to uh, ostensibly protect Japan from uh, outside regional threats. And secondarily, uh, it is to give the United States a strategic presence in Northeast Asia, a very key region for, uh, for the United States strategically. And why do you think that the presence uh, of these bases has become such a contentious issue just very recently? Of course, this is an issue that's been going on for quite some time, but are there certain things that are going on inside Japan politically or in terms of its foreign relations? Well, the, the new government in Tokyo, led by uh, Prime Minister Hatoyama, came to power last year uh, campaigning on a promise to review uh, the U.S.-Japan security relationship uh, including the plan to relocate the U.S. Marine uh, uh, Air Station in uh, Futenma uh, outside of Okinawa. Uh, and this review process has put on hold uh, the progress that was made uh, between uh, the United States and Japan in 2006, uh, working on a plan to, to relocate U.S. bases uh, in Okinawa. And how do you think that the issue has then affected U.S.-Japan relations, and how do you think that this issue is going to get resolved? Well, the Obama administration uh, came in wanting to move forward on the base relocation process, and this, uh, the delay has uh, caused a considerable degree of tension between Washington and Tokyo. Uh, it's unclear yet how, how this will be resolved. Uh, there's some uh, suggestion that the Futema Air Base uh, may have to may the, the status quo on Okinawa may uh, be sustained over time, uh, and that this problem will not go away very easily. But we'll have to see coming uh, uh, this May how the Hatoyama government wants to rework this this issue. So, what do you think is going to happen in the near to medium term? Where where do you see this going? I think that uh, for now, both sides will work behind the scenes. Uh, on, on a way in which uh, the two governments can uh, come up with a face-saving way to, to make some progress uh, on this issue. The U.S. side doesn't want to see the status quo uh, maintained. Uh, I think the, the Pentagon feels that the U.S. presence on Okinawa is, as it currently exists, is unsustainable. They want to reduce the U.S. footprint on Okinawa. Um, but I think that this is a very tricky situation right now. Uh, the, the outcome is still very uncertain. All right, Western Konishi, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.